Trisha Gibson. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Over the weekend, the former Governor of the Bank of England, Mark Carney, spoke about how, before the Brexit referendum, the Bank of England had set out that the likely consequences of Brexit were a weaker pound, higher inflation and weaker growth. Does the Chancellor think it is fair that the UK Government's decision to ignore the stark warnings from the Bank of England are now being paid for by the households who can least afford it? Chancellor. Mr Speaker, I'm afraid I don't buy this uh, Brexit narrative from the SNP. Food price inflation has been around 20% in Germany, Sweden, Portugal and Poland in recent times. So this is not a UK-specific issue. We are all dealing with the consequences of Putin's invasion of Ukraine and the aftermath of the pandemic. And we are all tackling it with one central focus, which is to bring down inflation as our overriding priority.